Fox News committed to keeping up with the efforts of making the new Interstate 10 bridge over Mobile River a reality. Construction for the whopping $2 billion project expected to start this year, but possible tolls to use that bridge are a very hot topic. Asha Staples now with the update. There was a lot to talk about during the Eastern Shore Chamber of Commerce's Eggs and Issues Breakfast this morning. One of the longer discussions from Matt Erickson was an update to the Mobile River Bridge Project. I wanted to make sure that everyone understood what the scope of the project is, which consists of seven interchange modifications, a new cable stay bridge over the Mobile River, and complete replacement of the existing bayway. Erickson, who's the bridge project director, announcing different funding and financing sources the state is looking at, including a federal infra grant they applied for last month. There's a lot of needs statewide, uh, probably none more than here in the Mobile and Baldwin County uh, as the population growth. Uh, so we're trying to stay ahead of the curve and address the capacity issues as best we can. So mm -hmm. this is the, the price of progress. One of the biggest questions and concerns a lot of folks had was about the tolling. So we got out and asked what you thought. It's probably the best way to do it. Um, you know, uh, where else are we going to get the money to, to do it? I mean, I think it would be, it's going to definitely be a great idea. I travel to Mobile and back uh, every day. Mm -hmm. Um, so I do know that we, it is very much needed. There's just a lot of questions about it. Where is it going to come in on the eastern shore? Uh, we need more information mm -hmm. about it. Yeah, it is life. Yeah, it's going to be what it's going to be. Do I agree with it? I, you know, it's got to get paid for somehow. Um, you know, growing up over in the Gulf Breeze area, we paid tolls to go over the bridge to the beach mm -hmm. back and forth. Um, you know, you go to the bigger cities, you're going to pay tolls to go back and forth on the roads there. Mm -hmm. So um, I can't say I agree with it, but I don't necessarily disagree with it. According to Erickson, the plan will include tolls on both the new bridge and the existing Wallace Tunnel. That means the only free routes across the Mobile River will be the Cochrane Bridge or the Bankhead Tunnel. Erickson says the all electronic tolling will be between three and six dollars. The Wallace Tunnel toll would not take effect until the new bridge is completed and ready for travel, which is scheduled for 2025. Reporting in Baldwin County, Asha Staples, Fox 10 News.